Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Waghorn, and I will be your Masters of Ceremonies for the 2021 Austin Commencement Ceremony. Let us begin with our land acknowledgement. We here in the Durham region respectfully acknowledge that we are on the traditional lands of the Mississaugas of Scugog Island. At Father Leah J. Austin, we are proud of our accomplishments as we celebrate 32 years of Catholic education. We will now hear our national anthem. I would like to introduce Ms. Carla Yosef, who will lead us in the liturgy. Please join me in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of love and compassion, we thank you for our time together, for all the friends we have made, for all the days of laughter and fun, and for all the times of great discovery and learning. We thank you for all who have given of their energy and skill so that we can graduate today. Our teachers, other Father Austin family, staff members, and mentors. Our family and loved ones, we thank you for them and give them all to you in prayer. As this chapter of our lives closes, so a new one begins. We present ourselves like an open book before you. Come and scribe your words of life into our lives. Fill our minds with your thoughts, fill our bodies with your strength, fill our hearts with your dreams, that we might eternally love and serve you this day and every day. We ask this in the glorious name of Jesus, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. For as in one body we have many members, and not all the members have the same function. So we, who are many, are one body in Christ, and individually we are members one of another. We have gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, prophecy in proportion to faith, ministry and ministering, the teacher and teaching, the exhorter and exhortation, the giver and generosity, the leader and diligence, the compassionate and cheerfulness. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering. Preserve in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. You hem me in, behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. 
For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. Praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When Jesus was asked which commandment in the law is the greatest, he condensed everything into one word, love, and into two commandments, love God and love others. God's first four commandments point to loving God with all I am, your heart, soul, and mind, and the last six commandments point to loving others with all that I have. God wants to be first in our lives, and when we love him first, we receive his love and in turn can love others with the same love he loves us. God's love is unmeasurable, infinite and pure, because he is love. Let us learn from Jesus and love God, because he first loved us and loved others as ourselves. Gathered together in Christ as sisters and brothers, let us pray to God for the needs of the church and the world. Our response to each petition is, Lord, hear our prayer. Pour l'Église, témoin de l'amour inconditionnel de Dieu dans le monde, for the church, a witness to God's unconditional love in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are praying. For the dirigeants élus dans nos communautés locales et dans le monde, appelés à prendre des décisions de paix et de justice, nous prions le Seigneur. For all elected leaders in our local communities and around the world, called to make decisions of peace and justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are praying. For the diplômés de l'école catholique, de 2021, que nous soyons guidés par le Saint-Esprit tout au long de notre avenir et que nous restions fidèles à notre appel à faire avancer le règne de Dieu dans notre monde, en vivant des vies d'intégrité, de compassion et de service, nous prions le Seigneur. For our Catholic school graduate of 2021, may we be guided by our Holy Spirit throughout our future and remain faithful to your call to further the reign of God in our world by living lives of integrity, compassion, and service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pour les parents et gardiens, en remerciement pour leur soutien affectueux et continu durant notre vie à l'école secondaire, nous prions le Seigneur. For our parents and guardians, in gratitude for their loving and ongoing support throughout our high school education, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the community of the Father Leo J. Austin, hier and aujourd'hui, que nous puissions suivre l'exemple des saints à travers la vie des cœurs, la lumière du Christ à briller, et que nous puissions suivre notre appel commun à être témoins de votre saint évangile, lumière pour notre monde, nous prions le Seigneur. For the Father Leo J. Austin School community, past and present, may we look to the example of the saints through whose lives the light of Christ has shone. And may we embrace our common call to be witness to our holy gospel, light for our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pour tous ceux qui souffrent en esprit encore et pour ceux qui prennent soin d'eux, nous prions le Seigneur. For all who suffer in mind, body, or spirit, and for those who respond and care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pour la guérison de ton peuple pendant cette pandémie, Afin que nous trouvions notre espoir, notre force et notre réconfort en toi, Seigneur, nous prions le Seigneur. For the healing of your people during this pandemic, 
that we would find our hope, strength, and comfort in you. Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, be our prayer. Gracious God, trusting in your loving grace and mercy, we have the courage to pray together the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Graduates of the class of 2021, please stand. Now let us together offer a blessing for our graduates. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you, and may he be gracious to you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And may Almighty God bless us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Chair of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Morgan St. Marie, will take this opportunity to share some words with the graduates. Hello Durham Catholic graduates, staff, families and friends. It is an honor to be here today to celebrate the success of the Durham Catholic District School Board's graduating class of 2021. My name is Morgan St. Marie and I am the chair of the board and trustee for the City of Oshawa. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, I extend congratulations and best wishes to you on this significant milestone in your Catholic education journey. Your final year as a secondary student was an eventful one in so many ways. Yet, in spite of all the pivots and adjustments you faced, you still remained focused on your path through our faith-filled education system. I have been amazed by our students' compassion and gratitude during this year of love. You have demonstrated and in many cases exceeded the Ontario Catholic graduate expectations by sending messages of love and hope to seniors who were feeling isolated due to the lockdowns, or making face shields with 3D printers and donating them to local hospitals. You gathered food and gift cards for families in need. You declared climate change initiatives and were active participants in providing safe and accepting spaces for our most vulnerable and marginalized students by helping to create caring school communities. And here we are today, celebrating this amazing group of 21st century learners and the completion of a significant chapter of your lives. Some say you are tomorrow's leader. But, in my opinion, you are leaders today. You are challenging the status quo, speaking up for equity and diversity, and making impactful changes in our schools and education system. Be proud of all that you have accomplished this year, and please continue to be the confident allies and future change makers that our world needs. To our parents, guardians, and family members who are celebrating with us, thank you for choosing Catholic education for your child. Our graduates are being recognized today for meeting more than just academic and credit requirements. They have been walking talking, and tweeting testaments to our Catholic values and beliefs. And for this, 
you should be extremely proud. Graduates, we know that you have spent many years preparing for this day to receive your Ontario Secondary School Diploma. Many of you have been in the Catholic system since kindergarten and many have joined you at various points along the way. Whatever your personal journey, you've worked hard to achieve your goals, guided in faith and the teaching of Christ. With the support of your teachers, school chaplain, guidance counselors, custodians, secretaries, educational assistants, administrators, parish priests, parents, guardians, and family members, you have officially reached today's milestone. We are all excited for your achievement. Please take your sense of community, commitment to faith, charity, and service with you on the road ahead. Congratulations on your success and may God bless you on your continued journeys. It is my pleasure to introduce our Director of Education, Tracy Burrell, who has a special message for our graduates. Graduates, family, friends, staff, and special guests. My name is Tracy Burrell, and I am the Director of Education for the Durham Catholic District School Board. It is an honor for me to bring greetings to all of you as we celebrate our graduating class of 2021. And oh, what a year it has been. I know that when you entered high school in grade nine, this is not how you thought the last two years of your education would be. And that we all hoped for a traditional graduation celebration. I am so sorry that this has not been possible for you. Thankfully, life as we once know it is within sight. Recently, you may have heard people talking about things like learning loss or education deficits. While there may have been some adjustments in the curriculum this year, I would suggest that learning is not always linear and that in fact, as a group, what you have learned and gained through this unprecedented time in history is just as important, if not more so, to your success in the future as any curriculum expectations would have been. As a group, you have demonstrated what it means to be discerning believers. This past year, we have witnessed changes in our world that will impact society for many years to come. Through it all, your voice has risen up. With attitudes and values founded in Catholic social teaching, you have demonstrated your respect for all life as you have advocated for the vulnerable and the marginalized. Your actions have modeled the integration of faith and life as you have brought forth the best of who we are as Catholics and Christians called to one, love one another. Grade 12s, you have shown what it means to be effective communicators and self-directed lifelong learners. Living through this pandemic has called upon all of you to be flexible thinkers and effective communicators using technology in new and different ways as we pivoted back and forth from in-person to online learning or from the new normal way of life to lockdowns. As you continue on your journey beyond high school, remember to always keep an open mindset, knowing that you have a tremendous ability to adjust to change and to learn and grow in even the most difficult of circumstances. Our students have shown what it means to be reflective and creative thinkers. This past year, as you have experienced a global pandemic, witnessed profound civil rights movements, and heard about the disturbing history of the treatment of Indigenous peoples in Canada, you have honed your problem solving and critical thinking skills. You are asking questions that dig deeper, such as what's happening, why is it important, and who is affected. 
In your future, the ability to evaluate new ideas in light of the common good will enhance your understanding and knowledge of the world around you so that you can contribute in meaningful ways to the development of a just and compassionate society. Collaborative contributors and responsible citizens, during this year of love, if nothing else, I have been astounded by the leadership and activism of our students. As a board, we have heard and we have listened and learned from you as you have spoken out about systemic racism and the bias that has affected our black, our indigenous and our people of color. You have advocated for care and compassion for people who identify as 2SLGBTQ+, and you have been stewards of creation, promoting environmentalism and the urgent need to change our ways to care for Mother Earth. As you move forward, I know that you will be witness in the world to Catholic social teachings by continuing to promote equality, democracy, and solidarity for a just, peaceful, and compassionate society. Most importantly, in the midst of a stay-at-home order, we have developed a deep sense of the importance of family. Whether by blood or by choice, our families are at the heart of who we are. The forced separation of these past 15 months has reinforced our need for those basic connections. As we look with hope to the return of a more normal way of life, May you never forget to hold those who mean the most to you close to your heart. Graduates, we are all very proud of your accomplishments, not only during this past year, but throughout all the years of your elementary and secondary education. I congratulate you on the completion of your Ontario Secondary School Diploma and for embracing the Ontario Catholic School graduate expectations. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank your educators, your school administrators, your chaplains, your parents and guardians, along with our clergy, our trustees, and family members who are celebrating with you today for the guidance and support that they have provided to each of you along the way. Together with our students, you have made our Catholic school communities vibrant, dynamic, and thriving centers of learning. During this year of love, may you continue to keep the joyful spirit of a Catholic school graduate that is in your heart today as a reminder that you can succeed in any pathway you choose to follow. Congratulations and God bless. Our principal, Ms. Denime, will now address us. Good evening. I bring greetings from Father Nagy, pastor from Holy Family Parish and good friend of Father Austin. Mr. St. Marie, chair of the Durham Catholic District School Board Trustees and the representative for the Durham Catholic District School Board Children's Foundation. Mr. John Ranella, trustee for the town of Whitby. Mr. Gerard Wynn, superintendent of education for Father Austin. MP for Whitby, Mr. Ryan Turnbull. And the mayor for Whitby, Mr. Don Mitchell. Mrs. Greco, Mrs. Barrett, and all of the community supporters of our Austin graduates, along with the past chair and co-chair of Austin's Catholic School Council, Mrs. Ann Provenzano, and Mr. Vernon Hill. Graduates, honored guests, parents, guardians, family, and friends. Welcome to the virtual Father Leo J. Austin Catholic Secondary School commencement for the class of 2021. Let's think back and recall this last school year together. The year of love. <laughs> what a year it has been, one like no other. Never before have we been called upon to navigate so much change and yet remain true to who we are as a Catholic learning community. It was dizzying. We saw new and changing bell times, directional arrows throughout the school, 
blocks one to four, and cohorts in a shortened day. We adapted to an ever-changing calendar for a hybrid model, synchronous learning, asynchronous learning, <laughs> online learning, a virtual school, a homeschool hybrid model, layers of protection, self-assessment, orange zone, red zone, gray zone, lockdown, emergency break. It was hard to keep it all straight most of the time. Is it any wonder that even in Quad 4, I would get Ed's B messages asking, what is a block? And is it the same as a cohort? <sighs> I'm so over this. Graduates, we celebrate you today and how you, with the support of your parents and guardians, your teachers and educational assistants, have succeeded. This has been a time when our inner voice and that of God can be heard if we but listen. And listen, you did. Seeing you at school and via Zoom, it is clear that the Austin Wildcat heart in this, the year of love, has been beating strongly. When challenged to keep one another safe so that the virus could not spread, you faced fear, worry, and loss. Restrictions were placed upon you. You had to maintain layers of protection and keep physical distance when at school and elsewhere. You had to learn and socialize over Zoom. Sports, musical concerts, clubs, plays, so many cherished school events were cancelled. But friendship wasn't cancelled. Imagination wasn't cancelled. Kindness wasn't cancelled. Faith wasn't cancelled. Curiosity wasn't cancelled. Hope wasn't cancelled. Love was not cancelled. It was the answer. Yes, isolation brought hardship, but it also brought an impulse to reach out with love to others at a distance. It gave us an opportunity to take time and reflect and remember who we are and what matters most. To remember that we are loved and called to love. The global pandemic brought a keen awareness of racial injustice, as did the tragic murder of George Floyd. Our minds and hearts were cracked open as we faced the truth of a long history of anti-black racism. It prompted us to acknowledge racism and to commit to seeing beyond our differences, to loving one another, and to working for justice. Pope Francis tells us, we cannot tolerate or turn a blind eye to racism and exclusion in any form, and yet claim to defend the sacredness of every human life. In this year of love, we find a new and deeper commitment to equity and justice. Graduates, during the global pandemic, you chose to spread love as you worked for academic success, grew in faith, and built community. You engaged in random acts of kindness within our community and beyond. You shuttled driveways on your street, donated to the homeless, helped one another over Zoom, were good listeners, did extra chores at home, gifted the bus driver, returned a lost wallet, held doors open, helped others, cooked meals, gave smiles, made others laugh, carried groceries, complimented others, the list is endless. But it wasn't just this year. It's important to remember before COVID-19, in your time at Austin, you consistently exemplified the Austin model of excellence, faith, and community, and stayed true to the Catholic graduate expectations. You engaged in activities for a variety of social causes at school, within the greater community, and abroad. You raised thousands of dollars to battle cancer through Terry Fox Days and Relay for Life. You supported activities for Down syndrome, autism, and hearing impairment awareness, for child welfare, indigenous education, tsunami relief, and more. You applied yourself to your academic study and the learning opportunities offered by your dedicated teachers and educational assistants. You shared your artistic talents in shows, concerts, exhibits, delighting audiences. You wowed us in Special Olympics, played in many team sports, enjoyed loss of wins, and competed at OFSA. And in your grade 11 year, you faced one after another interruption, but that didn't daunt you. As Wildcats of Love, you shone during the labor action, marching in support of education when yours was disrupted. And in the face of a global pandemic, you soldiered through socially distant from your friends for more than a year now, and contemplating buying a prom dress or a suit only to see your prom and your graduation become virtual events. Some of you 
found a way to lend your voices to my book of twelves, the journal that I keep to document your plans, your dreams, your high school experience. Of Austin you wrote, my four years at Austin have changed me. In grade nine, I didn't know who I was. Now, I am confident, outgoing, charismatic, and bold. I'm grateful for the highs and the lows that made me who I am. And, Father Leo J. Austin has been more than just a school to me in the last four years. It has been a community. A community of diverse and diligent students, as well as inspiring and personal staff committed to ensuring their students' success. Teachers and students have accepted me, and we have all united as one big family. And of the pandemic, you wisely wrote, everything happens for a reason. I know that things will always turn out for the best and that God always has a plan for me. It reminds me to stay positive even in tough situations and find happiness in the little things in life. God has a plan for us. He does. Psalm 139 tells us that because God's imagination is so vast and creative, no two of you are alike. Graduates, he appointed a purpose for each of you. This is echoed by philosopher John Stuart Mill, who said, there is an intractable, untouchable thing that is you. Keep your life still enough that you can listen to it and be aware of it. Graduates, it is in this stillness that you will know God's love and discover how to use your gifts and talents in the world. So listen and follow your beautiful innermost belongings. As you prepare to leave, we also say goodbye and thank you to a number of dedicated and awesome teachers and wish them much happiness in retirement. Mrs. Drury, Mrs. Frawley, Mr. Frawley, Mrs. Hennig, and Mrs. Stereznik. Graduates, thank you for your contribution to Father Austin. We pray that you leave us with a sustained commitment to faith, community, and excellence. As we close this, your final year of high school, know that you always have a home in Austin. May you choose to forever be an Austin Wildcat of love. Congratulations, graduates, and God bless. An Ontario scholar is a graduate who has achieved 80% or better on their top six grade 12 level courses. At the conclusion of our ceremony, we will recognize the 147 graduates who are Ontario Scholars. Talia Ahrens Thomas. Ashlyn Abdelmasse. The Town of Whitby's Mayor's Medal is awarded to a student demonstrating leadership, strong academics and citizenship. We are proud to announce Ashlyn as our 2021 recipient of this award. The Herf Jones Canada Incorporated Bursary is given to a student who has dedicated time and effort to the production of our yearbook. This year, the award winner is Ashlyn. The Lions Club of Whitby Bursary is awarded to a student demonstrating service to school and community. The student has also shown initiative, creativity, diligence, and effort in their voluntary activity and are a role model of understanding, acceptance, and respect. This year, Ashlyn is one of two recipients of this award. The Principal's Award is given to a student demonstrating strong academic performance, involvement in school community life, a model of Catholic values and commitment to the Austin community. Ashlyn is one of two recipients this year. Sophia Accardi. Carly Adair. Nolani Adu Sheldon Aitchison Izzy Akala Amaya Alvano Melissa Alvano the Ken Barrett Memorial Award is given to a student 
demonstrating excellence in visual arts. We are proud to announce Melissa as the recipient of this award. Riley Alvarez. The Governor General's Academic Bronze Medal is awarded to the graduate with the top average in both grade 11 and grade 12. This year, we are proud to announce Riley as the recipient of this award. The Andrew Foundation Scholarship is awarded to the student with the highest overall average with at least one math and one science. Our 2021 winner of this award is Riley. The Father Austin French Immersion Award is presented to a student that has demonstrated outstanding achievement in the French Immersion Program. Congratulations, Riley, on this award. Tozi Amechi. Alondra Andrade. Keon Andrews. Phil Anthony. Jason Apostle. Cameron Airborne Williams. Matt Baresi. Nucho Baresi. Nicole Barroso. Jay Bedlington. Troy Bella. Rachel Bennett. Cole Biglang Awa. Owen Brady. The Father Austin Catholic School Council Award is presented to a student that has demonstrated perseverance and courage in the face of obstacles, consistent effort, hard work which embodies spirit of the school community and successful achievement of their goals. This year, Owen is one of the five recipients of this award. Hamish Brown. Nicole Brown. Catherine Bunt. Brandon Bunting. William Burke. Dominic Bystrom. Isabel Cabello. Nathaniel Cadugan. The Father Austin Fine Arts Drama, Community and Theatre Bursary is presented to a student that has demonstrated exceptional achievement in the area of fine arts. This year, we are pleased to present the award to Nathaniel. Keegan Campanelli. AJ Contos. Mariah. Cartwright. The Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School Subject Level Awards are for the highest academic achievement in a subject area. The Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School is pleased to announce Mariah as the recipient of both the French Immersion and the Religion French Immersion Awards. Nicholas Carvello. Colton Cervoni. John Chambers. The Father Austin Cooperative Education Award for Outstanding Achievement is awarded to John. Hamna Chaudhry. 
The Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School is proud to announce the Entrepreneurial Studies and Venture Planning Award to Hamna. Sierra Church. Joseph Cicerella. Matthew Clark. Brittany Colangelo. Jaden Collins. Nicholas Conrona Clamont. Matteo Contreras. Lauren Cooney. The Father Austin Science Award is given to a student that has demonstrated outstanding accomplishment in the area of university science. This year, Lauren is our recipient. Morella Cordova. Ian Cousins. Tanya Cox. The Catholic Women's League Bursary is given by the Catholic Women's League of Holy Family Parish to a graduate that is a member of the parish who has worked for high academic standards and demonstrates our Catholic graduate expectations in interactions with peers and community members. This year, Tanya is one of two recipients. The Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School Subject Level Awards are for highest academic achievements in the subject area. The Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School is pleased to announce Tanya as the recipient of the Leadership Award. Tiffany Cox. The Catholic Women's League Bursary is given by the Catholic Women's League of Holy Family Parish to a graduate that is a member of the parish who has worked for high academic standards and demonstrated our Catholic graduate expectations in interactions with peers and community members. This year, Tiffany is one of two recipients. Julia Crawshaw. Brianna Davis. The Father Austin Catholic School Council Award is presented to a student that has demonstrated perseverance and courage in the face of obstacles, consistent effort, hard work, which embodies spirit of the school community, and successful achievement in their goals. This year, Brianna is one of the five recipients of this award. Lucas DiBiase. The Edge Imaging Award is given to a student demonstrating outstanding achievement in photography. We are pleased to announce Lucas as this year's recipient. Caitlin DeMello. Brianna D'Souza. The Knights of Columbus Council of Holy Family Parish recognizes graduates that are members of the parish and demonstrate our Catholic graduate expectations in interactions with peers and community members. This year, Brianna is one of five recipients of this award. Michael Della Cruz. Noah Deno. The Ontario Youth Apprentice Program Award is presented to a student that demonstrated outstanding achievement while participating in this program. We are pleased to present this award to Noah. Jacob Deputer. Cosmo Di Flumieri. Matteo Di Padova. Rebecca Drimmy. The Jeff Vandenboom Memorial Bursary is awarded to a student that has demonstrated outstanding achievement in the area of university mathematics. We are pleased to present this award to Rebecca. Riley Duguay. The Father Austin Cooperative Education Department is proud to announce Riley as the most improved student in the co-op program. Kyra Dukovac. 
The Anne O'Brien Award is named after the former Director of Education and is awarded to two graduating students. This year, we are pleased to award Kyra as one of the recipients. Davian Dunwell. Riley Edwards. Ethan Ellert. Lamar Ellis. Christopher Engelbert. Andriana Ertocrito. Miracle Eeyore. Aaron Fagan. Shannon Fagan. The Father Austin Grade 12 Wildcat of the Year Award is awarded to a student that has demonstrated outstanding achievement in health and physical education. This year, Shannon is one of two recipients. Abigail Fernandez. Rachel Fernandez. Rochelle Fernandez. Nicholas Fontana. Liam Foreman. Mary Francis. Andrea Garcia Avila. The Royal Canadian Legion Whitby Branch Award is presented to a graduate that has taken two or more grade 12 English courses and demonstrated excellence. We are pleased to present this award to Andrea. The Father Austin Kinesiology Bursary is awarded to a student that has demonstrated outstanding achievement in kinesiology. Our recipient this year is Andrea. Chloe Gargura. The Father Austin School Council Award is presented to a student that has demonstrated perseverance and courage in the face of obstacles, consistent effort, hard work which embodies school spirit, and successful achievement of their goals. This year, Chloe is one of five recipients of this award. Jelani Garraway. Vanessa Gavalanis. Matteo Jeanson. Cameron Gillen. Haley Gilman. Caden Good. Emily Gorn. The Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School Subject Level Awards are for highest academic achievement in a subject area. The Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School is pleased to announce Emily as the recipient of the Math Award. Nicholas Govea. Lassia Grant. Andreas Griffin. Alexander Gummel. Nick Gummel. Emily Rose Guffin. Jordan Hackett. The Father Austin Catholic School Council Award is presented to a student that has demonstrated perseverance and courage in the face of obstacles consistent effort, hard work, which embodies school spirit, and successful achievement of their goals. This year, Jordan is one of five recipients of this award. Lyric Hart. Kaya Houghton. 
The Father Leo J. Austin Peer Ministry Award is given to a graduate that has demonstrated commitment to peer ministry at Austin. We are pleased to award Kaya with this award. William Hawkins. Hayden Rose Herchek. The Royal Canadian Legion Whitby Branch Award is presented to a graduate that has taken two or more grade 12 history courses and demonstrated excellence. We're pleased to present this award to Hayden Rose. Alexis Hercules. Rodrigo Hernandez Segura. Braylon Hickey. Madeline Hickey. The McCarthy Uniform Company offers an award to a student that has demonstrated a significant contribution to the quality of student life and whose character and experience exemplify the mission of the school. This year, we are proud to announce Madeline as the recipient. Jesse Hyatt. Keegan Hoog Camp. Sam Hoshowski. Quinton Hoshowski Linares. The Father Austin Program Support Bursary is awarded to a student that has provided exceptional and unconditional support for our life skills students. We are pleased to announce Quinton as our winner. Cameron Howard. Emily Hewson. Daniel Hunt. Caden Hutton. The Father Austin English Bursary is presented to an outstanding student in the College English Program. We are pleased to announce this award winner is Caden. Marco Iaboni. The Knights of Columbus Council of Holy Family Parish recognize graduates that are members of a parish and demonstrate our Catholic graduate expectations in interactions with peers and community members. This year, Marco is one of five recipients. Ian Idmilau. The Knights of Columbus Council of Holy Family Parish recognizes graduates that are members of parish and demonstrate our Catholic graduate expectations in interactions with peers and community members. This year, Ian is one of five recipients. Dexter Irigayan. Damari Essina Cumberbatch. Grace Jasiak. Malachi Jackman Teixeira. Tasia James. Hannah Jaramillo. The Father Austin Fine Arts Dance Bursary is awarded to a student that has demonstrated excellence in the area of dance. We are pleased to announce this year's award winner is Hannah. Marcel Jean Gilles. The Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School Subject Level Awards are for highest academic achievement in a subject area. The Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School is pleased to announce Marcel as the recipient of the Dramatic Arts Award. Maya Jones. Avery Joseph. Noella Joseph. Ryan Juanitas. Aiden Kinnear. 
Mika Kresne. The Father Austin Canadian and World Studies Award is presented to a student who has demonstrated outstanding achievement in two or more Canada World Studies courses. We are pleased to announce Mika as this year's recipient. Asia Krishnan Maria Krzysztofski Laura Laflamme Alessandro Laforgia Joshua Lapin Paige Lawrence Walters The Principal's Award is given to a student demonstrating strong academic performance, involvement in school community life, a model of Catholic values and commitment to the Austin community. Paige is one of two recipients this year. The Whitby Orthodontics Youth Leadership Bursary is awarded to a student that exemplifies youth leadership and will be continuing on to college or university. This year's recipient is Paige. Dawn Lawson. Adam LeBlanc. Anna Lee Pantoja. The Governor General's Academic Bronze Medal Award is awarded to the graduate with the top average in both grade 11 and 12 courses from the Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School. This year, we are proud to announce Anna as the recipient of this award. The Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School Subject Awards are for highest academic achievement in a subject area. The Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School is pleased to announce Anna as the recipient of the Math, Physics, Nutrition and Health, and Information and Technology Awards. Madison Lewis. The Knights of Columbus Council of Holy Family Parish recognizes graduates that are members of the parish and demonstrate our Catholic graduate expectations in interactions with peers and community members. This year, Madison is one of five recipients. The Father Austin Paul Cayley Memorial Bursary is awarded to a student demonstrating excellence in either vocal or instrumental music. This year, we are pleased to present Madison with this award. Jingwo Lee Kiente Lichmore Chien Lu Nicholas Luciani Bradley McChesney Emma Madikey Gunner Mahoney Laura Marriott Dylan Marsh Jacob Martin Harrison Masur Harrison has been awarded the Durham Catholic Student Award as given by the E Trustees for a demonstration of commitment to our Catholic faith. This year, we are pleased to award Harrison and the recipient. Congratulations. Eric Matthews. Ugiwa Mawoko. Lucas Maxwell. Alyssa Macaron Beccarelli. The Jeff Vandenbloom Memorial Bursary is awarded to a student that has demonstrated outstanding achievement in the area of college mathematics. We are pleased to present this award to Alyssa. Additionally, Alyssa has been awarded the Father Leo J. Austin Science Award. This award is given to a student that has demonstrated outstanding accomplishment in the area of college science. Congratulations. Haley 
McCartney. Ryland McEwen. Latiana McLeod. Rachel McNeil. Rachel has been awarded the Father Leo J. Austin French Award. This award is presented to a student that has demonstrated outstanding achievement in French studies. We are very pleased to present this award to Rachel. Congratulations. Alana Grace Mead. Elio Menivar Campos. Karina Mercado. Maria Francesca Mercado. Zoe Merritt. Fiorella Mezzarini. The Father Leo J. Austin Religion Bursary is awarded to a student that has been an exemplary Christian role model. We are very pleased to recognize Fiorella for this award. Additionally, the Dentistry on Dundas Bursary is awarded to the student that has achieved outstanding results in both math and science. This year, Fiorella is our winner. Congratulations. Alexander Miller. Tyler Milton. Patrick Mitchell. The Father Leo J. Austin Fine Arts Technical Bursary is awarded to a student that has demonstrated dedication to our tech crew. This year, we are very pleased to announce Patrick as the recipient. Furthermore, Patrick has been awarded the Father Leo J. Austin Law Bursary. This bursary is presented to a student that has demonstrated outstanding achievement in the area of law. Congratulations. Michael Milarczyk. The Jody Dix Memorial Award is given to a student that has demonstrated being a strong overall wildcat, a caring community member, and a person who shows care and compassion for all. This year, the Jody Dix Memorial Award is given to Michael. Congratulations. Sebastian Montoya. Inari Moore. Nicholas Morado Kapsinski. Antonio Morcillo Cortez. Andrew Musa. Lala Moyo. Jake Muller. Lilia Nimati. Kimini Nicholson Wright. Owen Ning. Owen is this year's recipient of the Lieutenant Governor's Community Volunteer Award. This award is given to a graduate that has demonstrated exemplary community contribution or volunteer activity. We are very happy to recognize Owen as this year's recipient. Additionally, Owen is the recipient of the Newberry Memorial Bursary for Culinary Arts, which is given to students that have demonstrated outstanding achievement in the area of culinary arts. Can't wait to see what he's got cooking. Congrats. Elena Inyaka. The Father Leo J. Austin E-Camp Star Award and Bursary is presented to a student that has made a significant contribution to the advancement and celebration of black history and who has demonstrated building peace and understanding in school and the wider community. We are very pleased to announce Elena as this year's recipient. Tyson O'Boyle. Julia O'Connor. 
Nolan O'Leary. Mary Obiora. Joshua Okajimi. Jordan Ona. Jordan is the recipient of the St. Thomas Aquinas Philosophy Bursary, which is given to a student that exemplifies goals and aspirations of philosophical study, appreciates value of wisdom, the wonder of learning, the joy of thinking, and wonder of contemplating God. We are pleased to recognize Jordan with this award. Diego Orleana Malverde. Alexi Oria. Valerie Ortiz. Victoria Oso. Kenna Ottawa. Sebastian Rouet Dizon. The Father Lee of J. Austin, Grade 12 Wildcats of the Year, is awarded to a student that has demonstrated outstanding achievement in health and physical education. This year, Sebastian is one of two recipients. Congrats, Sebastian. Aiden Parkins. Chirk Pastetio. Emmanuel Paulchenko. Isabel Pena Garcia. Gabriel Perono. Colton Perigo. The Edge Imaging Award is given to a student demonstrating outstanding community leadership. We are very pleased to announce Colton as this year's recipient. Congrats. Matthew Perry. Matthew has been awarded the Ontario Power Generation Bursary. This bursary is given to a student that has demonstrated excellence in one of three science areas and will study specific science in post-secondary. Matthew is one of two recipients. Congrats. William Blake Pezzarello. Blake has been honored with the Father Leo J. Austin Catholic School Council Award. This award is presented to a student that has demonstrated perseverance and courage in the face of obstacles, consistent effort, hard work, which embodies spirit of the school community and is successful in the achievement of their goals. This year, Blake is one of five recipients of this award. Congratulations. Charles Phillips. Jacob Percy. Raphael Pitapit. Marivic Planta. Grace Poland. Grace is the recipient of the Ontario Power Generation Bursary. This bursary is given to a student that has demonstrated excellence in one of three science areas and will study specific science in post-secondary school. Grace is one of two recipients. Alicia Porter Peruzza. Marissa Prescott. Wan Ting Quian. Ben Ravis. Matteo Ramza. Sandra Rasek. 
Knights of Columbus Council and Holy Family Parish recognize graduates that are members of the parish and demonstrate our Catholic graduate expectations in interactions with peers and community members. This year, Sandra is one of five recipients. Congratulations. Tristan Regist. Shane Rimen. MJ Rius. Joshua Reynolds. Michael Moz Abel. Adriana Roti. Regan Rufino. Michael Rusino. Riley Rutherford. Jack Ryan. Jack has been awarded the Lions Club of Whippy Bursary. This award is given to a student who demonstrates service to school and community. This student has also shown initiative, creativity, diligence, and effort in their voluntary activity, and is a role model of understanding, acceptance, and respect. This year, Jack is one of two recipients of this award. Congrats. Joe Scala. Angelica Schmidt. Alessandra Shasha. Jaden Scott. Shanta Searles. The Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School Subject Level Awards are for the highest academic achievement in a subject area. The DCVSS is pleased to announce Shanta as the recipient of the Chemistry Award. Congratulations, Shanta. Connor Sheehan. The Austin Computers Bursary is awarded to a student that has demonstrated outstanding achievement in the subject of computers. We are very pleased to present this award to Connor. Congratulations, buddy. Yujun Cheng. Yujun has been awarded the Passport to Excellence International Education Award because she's such an exceptional international student. We are pleased to announce our 2021 recipient as Shunyun. Kyle Shepard. Hawa Shuaibu. Diego Siblao. Cameron Simmons. Michael Simon Cerullo. Allison Simpson. Naya Singh. Daniela Soluzano. Ariana Stanley Harrison. Jade Sylvester. The Durham Catholic Virtual Secondary School Subject Level Award is for the highest academic achievement in a subject area. This year, the DCVSS is pleased to announce Jade as the recipient of the English Award. Congratulations, Jude. Jacob Simchuk. Elise Tarufi. Erica Teeter. Erica has been honored with the Royal Canadian Legion Whippy Branch 112 Ladies Auxiliary Award. 
which recognizes one graduating student for his or her academic success and commitment to our community through exemplary service. This year, we are very proud to announce Erica as the winner. Congratulations. Isabella Thomas de Muzio. Natalie Thompson. Braden Tice. Nayeli Reo Guerrero. The Ann O'Brien Award is named after a former Durham Catholic District School Board Director of Education and is awarded to two graduating students. This year, we are pleased to announce that Nayeli is one of the recipients. Congratulations. Julie Trinka. Mason Tripp. Vanessa Zui. Cole Tucker. Terrell Turner. Brandon Van Winden. Brandon has been awarded the Father Leo G. Austin Faculty Bursary, and this is given to a student demonstrating outstanding achievement in College Pathway courses. Congratulations, Brandon. Additionally, the Austin Technology Bursary is awarded to a student that has demonstrated outstanding achievement in the subject area of technology. We are very, very pleased to present this award to Brandon. Congratulations. Alexander Van Zwoll. Will Van Buskirk. Jordy Velasquez. This year, Jordy has been awarded the Austin Business Bursary, and it's given to a student that demonstrates outstanding achievement in the subject area of business. We are very pleased to present this award to Jordy. Congratulations. Ganusha Vijayan. Christian Walker. Kimari Wakikona. Catherine Walker. Alyssa Walsh. Wan Li Wang, Tori Wanzama, Brianna Watt, Aiden Webster, Riley Whalen, Danielle White. Caitlin Whittier. Caitlin has been awarded the Antonietta Greco Memorial Award, which is given to a student that demonstrates a strong commitment to academics and Christian fellowship. We are very pleased to announce this year's winner is Caitlin Whittier. Congratulations. Tia Wright. Shema Jakob. Vanessa Young.
Congratulations to everyone on your achievements. It is an honor and a privilege to be elected by your own peers to speak at our commencement ceremony. At this time, I present to you your valedictorian, Riley Alvarez. Good morning, educators, parents, and guardians, and the protagonists of today's ceremony, my fellow Austin 2021 graduates. Many say a milestone is like a new chapter in a story. Well, this would be the acknowledgments page of our very own book. And like any tale, it begins with gratitude. To the author of our novel, God, I would be remiss if I didn't start by giving thanks to the one who has written the stories we have lived through in high school. For all the best times, the worst times, and everything in between, we owe it to him to be grateful for it all. Thank you. To the supporting roles who act as the backbone of our narrative, the Austin community, the teachers, guidance counselors, chaplains, social workers, VPs, Ms. Ketrick and Mr. Longo, Principal Ms. Deneme, those who are here with us today and those who have ventured into their own stories, you have given us a four year long internship into the world we are soon to enter. Four years of life lessons, three years of anticipation, two years cut short to one leading up to this very day. And for that, we genuinely thank you. For the personnages who nous ont donné une lentille différente pour apercevoir le monde, la Faculté Française d'Austin. Ce jour serait incomplet sans reconnaître les professeurs qui ont nourri un environnement où le langage pourrait s'étendre et la connaissance pourrait élever. Cyrano nous a enseigné l'amour et le petit prince nous a enseigné l'amitié. Mais vous, les profs français, vous avez enseigné l'identité. J'espère que plus d'étudiants pourraient avoir vous comme prof, car c'était vraiment à travers mes cours français que ma reconnaissance pour la créativité est née. Merci. Aussi, je vous promets, Pendant mes quatre années ici à Austin, je n'ai jamais utilisé Google Translate. Merci. To the characters who gave us a place to call home, our families, families both by blood and by choice, families we have gained and families we have lost these past four years. To our biggest cheerleaders, this is the trophy we take home for you to display. I think I speak on behalf of all children, but especially those with immigrant parents when I say that our graduation is a product of your lifelong sacrifices. And for that alone, we hope to pay homage to all the love you sprinkled into our chaos-filling, stress-inducing, drama-triggering high school days. We love you. Thank you. To the one thing that makes any story an adventure, the antagonist. This year alone, we faced many enemies. The pandemic swooped in during March of 2020, and while we were fighting that, social injustice and racial discrimination snuck in from the shadows. But as our two arms were occupied wrestling against these entities, school still had to fall down from the skies with its dark, looming cape. Not to mention the ninja stars of personal problems that all of us were avoiding in this melee of a battle. To all of this and so much more, we thank you. So, to my protagonists of 2021. I initially wanted to share an encouraging message with you all tonight to somehow overshadow our antagonists. However, I soon realized that this just wouldn't do for our graduating class, a class eager to know the truth. As I look around here, I, I don't actually see any of you, but I can imagine it. I can picture your faces and in them I see doers and go-getters shakers and movers. It's funny because one day we could be the pioneers of activism, sharing resources and signing petitions, but then the next day we could be sitting on our couches questioning our existence as we scroll through a tiny rectangle of a screen. But here's the thing, while we have all adapted to this identity crisis between acting versus spectating, we are a group of differences in one radically similar system. At Austin, we established our roles. You were the one who was the lead of every musical. 
You were the one who was the MVP of each sport game. You were the one who always sat at the far left bench of the cafeteria. From the extraordinary to the mundane, we built a name, an identity for ourselves. And guess what? All this time we conformed to it because it was safe and reassuring. But if this past year has taught us anything, and let's face it, it's taught us a lot. It has shown us that we are never just one thing. You could be a student at Austin, but after 245, you were also a sibling who had younger brothers and sisters to take care of. You were also an essential worker at the local supermarket. You were also a volunteer. We all have our own personal handwritten stories. Yours could be on the fancy A4 paper, could be on a sticky note, it could even be on a used napkin. But one thing all of our stories have in common is our ability to defy, defy the expectations, defy the odds. Because Father Leo J. Austin has shown me that in every moment I shocked someone by something I did somewhere during some time, I realized that was how I want to live every day of my life. So since there's no single message that fits each protagonist here today, I decided to go with this. Learn to be a contradiction. Be everything and nothing at once. To my strong spirited and determined today, be afraid and uncertain and furious and broken and manic. Revel in who you are because your planned out futures can wait, but today is right here. To my uncertain and lost today, be bold and defiant and reckless and unyielding and curious. Know that your wandering will lead to your purpose. To my stubborn today, be kind. To my kind today, be reckless. To my reckless today, be silent. To my silent today, be loud. To my loud today, just be. Even for just one day, welcome everything you shunned away just because it wasn't you. To some, this speech is an optimistic one, urging you to move forward, look upward and aim skyward. But to others, this speech is more of a downer, one that asks you to blur out your bright dreams and make room for pauses, breaths, and existences. Quite a duality, but also quite fitting for us. This is not the graduation that any of us expected. So naturally, as graduates, we are expected to be bitter. It's expected that we ask ourselves, why us? And no one would question it because that's the expected reaction. But if we venture into our next stories, filling in these boxes of expectations, we can't possibly expect to be an exception, a sensation, if I may add an exaggeration. Learn to be a walking contradiction. No one likes a flat character. And as we part ways and I leave you, my fellow Austin 2021 graduates, with my sincerest congratulations, there's no better message I could think of than this. We are about to be thrust into a sequel that has no sneak peek. So make use of the last few pages in this story and end it as a round character. Merci, thank you. Congratulations, felicitas. Thank you for taking the time to share our commencement ceremony with us.